Let me briefly explain about static files. Static files are used to give color and animation to a web page. A plain HTML page is also a static file. An embedded video and a picture are static files as well. Static files are a sort of supplementary files that must be served as quickly as possible. That means that we can bypass authorization checks and reduce load on the server. The middleware for static files short circuits the pipeline and achieves exactly the same purpose. There may be some cases where static files need protection. One example is a website that allows only the authorized users to watch their MP4 files. As we shall see later, ASP.NET Core does indeed make such a configuration to be made. Let us now see the steps required to configure static files. The first step is to add some static files to the project. Start by creating a new project and reach this point. This is the website root directory. It is also called content root directory. Next, create a new directory called www root inside the content root directory. The solution explorer should now look like this. All your static files have to be contained in this directory. This directory is also called the web root directory. Place all your static files inside this web root directory. Create subdirectories for JS, CSS and images. One of the static files that we have added is this HTML file. Open this file and add an image tag. This is how it should appear. Have a look at the image path. Notice that the path doesn't contain the name of the webroot directory. The name is hidden from the outside world. You can now reference the JS and CSS files in the same manner and format as we have done for our image. Now we move to the second step. The next step is to configure the middleware for processing the requests for static files. For this, a middleware component has to be inserted into the pipeline. The name of the component is use static files and it performs various functions. First, it tells the ASP core engine that the static files are located in the www root directory. Then it has to determine if the HTTP request is for a static file or not. But how is that done? What, after all, is a litmus test for a static file? This is how there is an internal list of about 400 file extensions that are classified as static files. It understands almost 400 types of file and MIME types like JS, CSS, HTML, and so on. If the request is for a known type, then it serves the resource from the web root directory and short circuits the pipeline. No authentication checks are made and no further processing is done. But if the request cannot be matched, then it is passed on to the next middleware component. 
Let us now add the use static files component to our pipeline. Open the startup.cs file. Locate the configure method of the startup class. We have removed the pipeline code for better visibility. But we already know that this method contains all the middleware components of the application pipeline. We have to now insert the use static files middleware here, just before the use routing component. Write this line as shown. And run the project to request the index HTML page. And see the static file served. We shall discuss advanced features in the next lecture. Thank you.